Hi, my name is Shaniqua Bailey, and this is Home Alone 2 Physics. The clip we'll be focusing on is the brick scene when Kevin throws multiple bricks from a four-story building which hits Marv in the face. Now, as you can see from the clip, Marv stumbles and loses clear sight of vision. The question is, is that result accurate or should the impact of the bricks be more severe and break through skin and possibly crack Marv's skull? Now to get into the physics of the scene, here is some data to get us started. The average weight of a brick is 5 pounds, which is about 2.27 kilograms. As for the building, it is four stories, and as you can see, one story is equivalent to about 3 meters. This results in the building being about 12 meters tall. Kinematic and energy equations are used to find the velocity of the brick. Ignoring the energy exerted by Kevin on the brick, the initial velocity is 0 meters per second. The final velocity of the brick before hitting Marv is unknown. First, I use the kinematic equation v final squared equals v initial squared plus 2 times the acceleration and the distance to find the velocity of the brick. The initial velocity is 0 meters per second squared plus 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared, which is the acceleration, and times the distance, which is 12 meters. After calculating that out, I took the square root of both sides, giving me the final velocity of 15.34 meters per second. Next, I used the energy equation mgh equals 1 half mv squared to verify the speed. After putting in all the data, I came up with the same speed as the kinematic equation, which gave me the final velocity of 15.34 meters per second. Here is a look at the remainder of the scene where Marv is hit with the other bricks. As you can see, the bricks left red marks, but there is no significant harm done to him. I then used the kinetic energy equation to find out how many joules of energy impacted Marv. Kinetic energy equals 1 half mv squared. I multiplied the mass of the brick, which was 2.27 kilograms, by 1 half, and then multiplied by the velocity squared, which is 15.34 meters per second. That gave me the kinetic energy of 267.08 joules. It is said that between 14 and 70 joules can crack the human skull depending on location. With that being said, here is a clip of the four bricks Marv is hit with simultaneously, each applying about 267.08 joules of energy. To conclude, it is obvious that this scene isn't 100% accurate because with the energy of 267.08 joules that each brick exerted when they hit Marv, it is clear that they should have caused more damage than just the red marks that was left on his forehead, especially since it only takes about 14 to 70 joules to crack a human skull. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.